Welcome to ATV TV. I'm Darren Dance here with Brian Johnson. He's out. He's back. Where were you? I was in Sydney, Darren. Pretty hard at it. Hard at it. Yeah. I'm not going to ask what suburb of Sydney <laughs> you're in, but we all know it wasn't Ramwick. It's freezing here down at Gordon. Behind us is the barn of uh, Bruce and Therese, who break in all our yearlings, Brian, and we've filled them up with about 25 this season so far. You can see them just behind us, Darren. They're looking pretty, pretty comfortable in there out of the rain, so it's good. Warmer than us with their rugs bit, on. Yeah, yeah. Love Victoria. Let's quickly run through. We didn't have many runners last week. Uh, we started off on Friday night at Mooney Valley with Jab Jelly Baby, and all those great tipsters, they tipped her on top, and you wouldn't want to know. She ran ordinary. Yeah, it wasn't a great run at all. Darren, after like, the previous run, we just looked ready to win, but any excuses on it? None. Then we went off to your horse, Brian. Yeah, Miss Adelaide, yeah, I think we went up to 1,400 metres, Darren, but it runs a strong 1,200. It ran a very strong 1400, Brian. It would drew wide, jump well, three wide the whole trip, and uh, finished well back in the field. It did. Did you go down and watch it? I didn't, Darren. I was working for you, unfortunately. So you're asleep and missed the race. <laughs> All right. So uh, disappointing, Miss Adelaide. But I think there were some excuses, and we might just have to wait another day when she draws a gate and she can get to the lead easily. That would be her go. And today, a big day so far, Brian. We've had Falago go around at Canterbury come from well back and ran second and Jimmy Cassidy got off and said any other track it wins. Yeah, it's good to hear from Jimmy and yeah, another good run for Largo. Derby bound still? I don't know but why would you run a Canterbury if it wins at any other track? I just got to get a fit down. Getting a fit? Getting the odds up for next time. I backed it. <laughs> it's about any trade. Doesn't help me. <laughs> and then off we went to Sandown we had Matthew Williams training Royal Fantasy in the first of two year old. Did you see the run? I did see the run Darren and probably be better for the run. I got knocked around a little bit. And it, the horse on the inside came out and knocked it over and then it looked like it was going to run into it and he, Brad stopped riding it and it went backwards. I don't know what he was doing, it might have been lunchtime or something, but no, he did say it might have been a bit shin sore. And then we just watched Tayu, Brian, the mighty Tayu, just smashed him at Sandown by a length and a half. Well, I told a guy last week to back it in Sydney, Darren, and he did, so I hope he backed up today. Most of them probably didn't, but no, the horse was good and 1800. Congratulations to all those owners. He showed a really good turn of foot, and I think he's a horse going places, Tayu. He's just taken a little bit of time, but he's right on track now. And then we're waiting for Clever a little bit later on today, Brian. We are, Darren, and what do you think? I think he'll run a nice top five. Yeah, he's down in class and probably better suited in this race. He doesn't travel well, he's won all his races at Warnable, so if he doesn't win today, we either got to relocate Matty Williams to Melbourne. Or we'll keep the horse in Warnable. <laughs> what do you reckon Matty will do to that? I think you'll stay in Warnable. Yes, yeah, so do I. All right, so let's have a look going forward. What's coming up? Got no idea, Darren. Well, that's very insightful, Brian. <laughs> Looking forward to our runners and results. Um, it appears that Gen Y uh, will be going to Swan Hill, Brian. Yeah, I just heard that on the grapevine, Darren. What, what, what are you things to go up there? Well, luckily we didn't book to fly to Mildura because they transferred the meeting to Swan Hill and we would have been in the wrong place. So we'll go to Swan Hill and I think she'll be a really big chance, Gen Y. We've got a number of other runners coming up, but at this time, um, you know, we haven't got the barriers and the draws. So whilst we'll have a number of runners, we'll just finalise those over the next 24 hours. Now, Brian, what's happening with four trucks for kids? You've, you've raised a lot of money thanks to the generosity of a lot of ATB followers. Yeah, exactly, Darren. We've had a great response from last week when you asked people to get behind and we're up to about 4,700 now, which is fantastic. What did we get last year? Just over 5,000, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that, I think, yeah. So we'll go past that this year. No, so thank we'll, you we'll to, smash it. Thank you to everyone out there who's donated to BJ, who um, starts walking from Sandown at 3am on Friday morning. I just have to walk it now, Darren, otherwise I'd we'll have to give it all back. You're still walking 54 k's a day? No, I'm not. No, we, we back a bit, Darren, on it. You're tapering, like, you're tapering, tapering, tapering off, like yeah. a professional athlete. Yeah. You look pretty tapered, especially yeah. around the front, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, Brian, this week we've spent three or four days down at William Inglis looking at yearlings, and we've been lucky enough to secure four new horses for the ATB network, um, including a lovely grey colt by Stratum, two black long row fillies, and a schwa seer colt. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Does it does sound exciting, Darren. Some of your long rows in the past have been very good. And you can see here, Brian, we've got some photos of those long rows and stratums on the screen there. And if you're interested in getting involved in these horses, it's just a simply a matter of sending us an email or calling me on the mobile, and we can let you know the full details. The other news on the ATB front, Brian, is um, we've appointed Shona Dressler 
to join the ATB team. She's been on board for two weeks and she'll be looking after sales and marketing and some of the bike <coughs> stock. And her first job is to get that new website up and running. And earlier on, I caught up with Shona. We're here at Inglis today with um, one of um, ATB's newest recruits, Shona Dressler. Shona, welcome to ATB. Thanks, Darren. Thanks for letting me join the team. Shona comes to us, she's been with us for three weeks in a sales and marketing role and obviously she brings a wealth of experience to the ATB business and many of you will be hearing from Shona over the coming weeks and months as she um, gets seriously involved in the ATB business. Part of her role to start with is going to be launching the new website, Shona, which we're, we're pretty excited about. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's uh, with my stable. Um, there's a lot of new functions on there where we can upload voice recordings, uh, video recordings, photo galleries for each individual horse and um, it's going to be really uh, informative for all the owners. I think it's a great step forward for our business in, in the process of communication to you out there. And also Shona's been here this week at Inglis uh, looking at all the yearlings for us as um, we've been around and looked at every horse in session one and to date we've secured two and hopefully later on today we can get a couple more. Mm. Just tell us a little bit about your background in the, in the racing industry. Um, well, I come from a sort of racing family. My grandpa was the president of the Bendigo Jockey Club, and on my mum's side, she had an uncle that was a farrier, so it was sort of in the blood a little bit early, and then um, always a, um, fond of a little bit of a punt when I was younger, and went to the races with mum and dad, and my uncles got trotters license and that kind of thing and just always loved horses coming from the farm and it's just sort of progressed into racing. It's a really good background, a solid background and um, some of the key uh, tasks Shona will be looking at is um, talking to people about getting involved in our internationals going forward, also spending some time at Cranbourne, Flemington and Caulfield looking at some of the horses and getting some photos through some of the you owners out there that have got horses in those yards have already seen some of the photos come through so it's a very valuable service and um, we continue to grow at ATB and we need to continue to get those results. So Shona, welcome to ATB and I hope you find it very re rewarding. Thanks Darren, looking forward to it. Um, I've also done some work at Caulfield with Mick Price and I've also worked for Robbie Lang for on and off for about 12 years so it's good to have those contacts at the track, they, you can just, uh, you go out there and you know, and uh, give them a heads up to go to track work. So if any owners want to come along and have a look at their horses working, just uh, let me know and I can arrange that and we'll um, head out and have a look at the horse. Shona's number is appearing on the bottom of the screen and it will so certainly be listed on our website should you want to take up that offer. Thanks Shona. Thanks Darren. Now Brian, what's going on with ATB tipping? It appears that I didn't get any points last week. Yeah, you tipped very badly Darren, but fortunately Anthony Curcio tipped very well and he's, he's currently leading Oh, oh, God's <laughs> sake! Now, Brian, again. ATB tipping. What's going on here? Who's winning? At the moment, Darren, it's a pretty close contest. Anthony Curthio is in front by like a minuscule from John Paul Lennon. And in third place is the spring tipping sensation, Nathan Bennett. And where are you? Uh, in top 20, Darren. Pretty high up in the top 20. You're a long way in front of me. A long way. Down only, I think only about 50 or 60 places. But don't, don't, it's not about tipping. That's not about winning. No, it's not about it's winning. It's about the fun. It's about competing, exactly. I can win. And just while in the tipping, we've just spoken to Dean Elliott, and he's bumped up the prize money this week to 200 bucks. Well, it was really good of him to give me the centre bet banner to put behind it, and it's actually <laughs> sitting in the boot of my car right now. <laughs> Look, that's about it for this week. It's a big week, and... Um, Congratulations on what you've done for Four Tracks for Kids, Brian, and we certainly look forward to um, <coughs> hearing all about it next week. Thank you, Darren, and hopefully I'll be here next week. That's it from ATB TV. I'm Darren Dance, and he's Brian Johnson.